Hi, the word of the day in Divtober is splash. So I'm going to show how to create a splash effect with HTML and CSS. I'm going to use a single HTML element and then apply CSS filters. Let's see how it's done. First, I come here and I add a div, but you can use any element that you want. As long as it's a block it, it, or inline block, it, it will work. I'm going to add a class of a splash and then I'm going to give it a size. This is uh, different sizes and different, uh, will give it like different shapes, which it is interesting, no? So I'm going to make it square, 500 pixels wide and a height of 500 pixels too. And uh, just so it's visible, I'm going to apply a semi-transparent red color so I can see it here. And this is how it's going to work. I'm going to use repeating conic gradients to make uh, concentric lines. And then I'm going to apply a blur filter that is going to mix them together and make them blurry. And after that, a contrast filter. So all the blur content is going to blend and merge together and it's going to look better and sharper. So let's see how it is. So let's put repeating conic gradient. And for this, I like using um, prime numbers, mainly because um, I find that there's less collisions and that way they, I find it more original. I don't know if it is more original, but I, I like it better. So here it is. And now let's add a background repeat, no repeat. We don't need it right now, but we're going to need it when we add more filters, sorry, more repeating conic gradients. And let's work on the filters. So let's say blur, 50 pixels, contrast, 50. And that's way too much, as you can see. So let's make it 20 and 20. That looks a little bit better, but it looks weird because of the red. So let's make it white. Now that looks a lot better, but the problem is that the edges, you can see, they, they don't look okay. They are like, a gradient from blue to white. This happens because the box uh, has a, a background that is blue and white, but outside the box, everything is transparent. So it's trying to blend with it. One option to fix it, an, an easy one, is add a box shadow uh, that is going to be 50 pixels and white. And with that, we already have something that could look like a splash and, and could work. We could add text here or something. Uh, the only thing is that you can see it's still a little bit blurry here in the edges. So maybe if we add more contrast, it looks sharper. That's a lot better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a few more uh, repeating conic gradients. So it's not just these eight lines or 10 lines here. So let's copy this and let's, uh, as I said, use prime numbers. I like using prime numbers for this. So I'm going to use five and seven and then 50, 50, and then 60, 60 as the size. That doesn't look that great, but let's see how it works. And I'm going to copy this and paste it two more times, 70, 70, 80, 80. And if I said five, seven, then I can do seven, nine. And then I can do something like 11 and 13. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like that this space here. So I'm going to use a, a circle, a radial gradient in the middle. That is going to be blue, 25% uh, and then transparent. Uh, what did I do? Radial gradients, maybe it's too big. So let's make it smaller, 20. Oh, still too much. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need a zero here. That's why. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's see, 25. The problems are recording this live. I don't fully really like that. So let's make it a little bit smaller. 22, that looks better. So this is how you draw a plus effect with HTML and CSS, as you can see, it's just a few lines of code. 
If you use it to, to draw something for the tower, please leave in the comments a link to the demo. I would love to see it.